positron emission or beta plus decay is a particular type of radioactive decay and a subtype of beta decay, in which a proton inside a radionuclide nucleus is converted into a neutron while releasing a positron and an electron neutrino. Positron emission is mediated by the weak force. The positron is a type of beta particle, the other beta particle being the electron emitted from the I squared a decay of a nucleus. An example of positron emission is shown with magnesium 23 decaying into sodium 23, 23, 12 mg at 23, 11 Na plus E plus plus I one half, E, because positron emission decreases proton number relative to neutron number. Positron decay happens typically in large proton-rich radionuclides. Positron decay results in nuclear transmutation, changing an atom of a chemical element into an atom of an element with an atomic number that is less by one unit. Positron emission should not be confused with electron emission or beta minus decay, which occurs when a neutron turns into a proton and the nucleus emits an electron and a non-tineutrino. Electron capture is also occasionally classified as a type of beta decay. In some ways, electron capture can be regarded as an equivalent to positron emission, since capture of an electron results in the same transmutation as emission of a positron. Electron capture occurs when electrons are available and requires less energy difference between parent and daughter, so occurs much more often in smaller atoms than positron emission does. Electron capture always competes with positron emission where the latter is seen, and in addition, occurs as the only type of beta decay in proton-rich nuclei when there is not enough decay energy to support positron emission. Discovery of positron emission, in 1934 Fra copyright Dow copyright Rick and Irony Joliot Curie bombarded aluminium with alpha particles to affect the nuclear reaction for, 2 He plus 27, 13 Ala 30. 15 p plus 1, 0 n, and observed that the product isotope 30, 15 p emits a positron identical to those found in cosmic rays by Carl David Anderson in 1932. This was the first example of I squared plus decay. The cure is termed the phenomenon artificial radioactivity, since 30, 15 p is a short-lived nuclide which does not exist in nature. The discovery of artificial radioactivity would be cited when the husband and wife team won the Nobel Prize. Positron emitting isotopes, isotopes which undergo this decay and thereby emit positrons include carbon 11, potassium 40, nitrogen 13, oxygen 15, aluminium 26, sodium 22, fluorine 18, and iodine 121. As an example, the following equation describes the beta plus decay of carbon 11 to boron 11, emitting a positron and a neutrino. Emission mechanism Inside protons and neutrons, there are fundamental particles called quarks. The two most common types of quarks are up quarks, which have a charge of plus two thirds, and down quarks, with a a one third charge. Quarks arrange themselves in sets of three such that they make protons and neutrons. In a proton, whose charge is plus one, there are two up quarks and one down quark. Neutrons, with no charge, have one up quark and two down quarks. Via the weak interaction, quarks can change flavor from down to up, resulting in electron emission. Positron emission happens when an up quark changes into a down quark. Nuclei which decay by positron emission may also decay by electron capture. For low energy decays, Electron capture is energetically favored by 2 mech 2 equals 1.022 MeV, since the final state has an electron removed rather than a positron added. As the energy of the decay goes up, so does the branching ratio towards positron emission. However, if the energy difference is less than 2 mech 2, then positron emission cannot occur and electron capture is the sole decay mode. Certain isotopes are stable in galactic cosmic rays because the electrons are stripped away and the decay energy is too small for positron emission. Application These isotopes are used in positron emission tomography, a technique used for medical imaging. Note that the energy emitted depends on the isotope that is decaying. A figure of 0.96 MeV applies only to the decay of carbon-11. Isotopes which increase in mass under the conversion of a proton to a neutron, 
or which decrease in mass by less than 2 Me, cannot spontaneously decay by positron emission. The short-lived positron emitting isotopes 11 C, 13 N, 15 O and 18 F used for positron emission tomography are typically produced by proton irradiation of natural or enriched targets. References External links, the Libet chart of nuclides, IAEA with filter on I squared plus decay.